counting. My memory has not leaked of how, as little boys, my brother and I would swim through the mountains of mysteries out back. Dented shiny cars, greasy blue rags, splintered chunks of hood, printed papers, rotten bits of abandoned dinners. At times, a fat rat joined in the treasure hunt, inviting squeaky shrieks from startled throats. I loved finding small brown bottles used for medicines or brandy that I'd seen at home. I'd fling them against the house wall, counting out loud. One, smash. Two, smash. Three, like fireworks or an alarm to dad that we were misbehaving outside. I'm counting to three and you two'd better be inside taking a bath. One, two. We'd never hear three. Two was also rarely heard as we scurried indoors. One, two, three. There's a man pounding on my father's chest like he's doing push-ups. One, two, three. In a one one thousand count, sending Morse codes, dots and dashes to a distant demon to let go of my father's heart. Please don't die, Daddy. There's no reply to the coded plea, or the rhythmic push-ups, or my silent prayers. Again, I'm counting. Ambulance men, stretcher straps, tiny baby rats running after the fat one across the rubbish heaps. The one, two, three, shattering of small brown bottles, recalling my joy as they explode, with no concern for glass splinters or bottle shards, or the count of remaining days.